So, <laughs> my first gravel race. Uh, I love gravel because there is no cars in the woods. On four, four and a half meters of road, I hit a car, which was not supposed to be there. Hey, hey! Not the finish line I've expected. So here I am at the beautiful Uniklinik Aachen. They did an awesome job. I basically crashed into the very helping hands of a first responder. So therefore, <laughs> thank you very much. Cycling is just shit. <laughs> I think I'm never gonna do a race again. Um, no, I was super, super lucky. Honestly, um, I think I could have died in this crash, which is kind of really scares the shit out of me. Luckily, I just broke my hand and um, probably my shoulder, uh, but that's about it. So, <laughs> no reason not to smile. First stage. <laughs> First stage is always traveling to the race. Mm. My first real gravel race, so to so to say, in uh, in Aachen three rides this weekend. Looks like a beauty. Um, a little bit nervous. <laughs> uh, I've not been racing uh, gravel in the pack since um, ah, Cape Epic, which was. Basically a gravel race on some stages, I would say. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. I uh, hope I have the the power to um, solve any uh, difficult situations by just right on the front, <laughs> uh, which will probably not be the case in this race. Uh, gravel developed really, really fast. I have to say, when I f originally had the plan how I want to retire from professional triathlon and then basically uh, have uh, two years uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the gravel scene. My original idea was I'm gonna win Unbound, I'm gonna win the Gravel Earth Series. <laughs> no, just kidding, but um, at least be like competitive. Just within these two years, gravel developed so fast that, and I didn't, that, um, yeah, I think there is like no chance at all I'm gonna win any of these races, so uh, not sure what it is about. <laughs> um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna find out what it is about. series I think yeah that was definitely learning so fifth fifth or fourth or fifth uh, start block maybe uh, a thousand guys athletes racing in front of uh, me us so <laughs> it was definitely a, a, a hectic start and some some traffic jams but um, yeah I went through all of that quite okay until we had a slight downhill, um, some trees left and right, so you couldn't really see left and right. We were about to cross the road, there was like no warning that there will be crossing traffic or something like that. Yeah, we got told that it's a fully closed race circuit. Turns out it wasn't, at least not there, so somebody let a car, cars cross. 
I don't know uh, what exactly happened. We actually filed charges to find that out and to avoid situations like that in any further uh, races. I saw a car coming from the left side. Um, at that point, we uh, I probably had like 55k an hour speed, so <laughs> full on hit the brakes. Another car from the right, no chance to avoid that whatsoever. So I fully hit that car. I don't know exactly what happened, but I just know that I was incredibly lucky. There was a, a first aid a personal uh, directly on that crossing. So thanks again to the super good job of the of the first responder there on the on the crossing, uh, who took very good care of me. I got into the hospital in Aachen. Uh, it turns out that I'm. Like I said, that I was pretty uh, pretty lucky. On Monday I got checked again. I broke five bones in my right hand, but it's gonna be all right. Six weeks, uh, maybe, till I will be able to ride outside again. To all those who crashed before in the race, they know the day after the race is probably not that bad. Now it's like six days after the race. Like my shoulder is in a lot of pain, but. Uh, MRI and uh, um, CT and so on is all negative, so looks all right. Um, <laughs> that was my experience with my with my first uh, gravel race. I think like the fourth or fifth time I crashed in 30 years of being a professional athlete, mainly on a bike, a lot of hours. So it's kind of kind of crazy because that's exactly why I wanted to race gravel or focus more on, on gravel because I don't really uh, enjoy riding my bike on, a, on the road anymore because of a lot of car drivers who are, I don't know, very aggressive. So therefore, for me, it's uh, mainly swift and uh, gravel these days. Is the bike okay? Mm, no. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised how well it holds up. I mean, it took pretty much all the impact away. And yeah, uh, it's actually, I mean, it actually looks much better than you would anticipate uh, hitting the car full on with almost 50k an hour. So good quality guys, <laughs> thanks for uh, taking away all the impact. Um, Oh, and SRAM just re released a new, uh, brand new uh, uh, Red AXS. Maybe uh, I don't know. can can get a new group set. <laughs> I don't know how I will con uh, continue, um, but I know that I want to say thank you to all the super kind messages from all of you guys. Thanks a lot. Um, maybe I'll just do more 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 high rocks and stuff as soon as I can throw a wall ball. But uh, I'm still. I've signed it up for Octopus Grell and the Rift, so we'll see if I do that. Thanks, guys. Um, anybody wants to buy a front wheel? Barely used. <coughs> um, 